Welcome to Motoring Monday for June 29th, 2015. I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we're going to show you the all new 2016 Chevrolet Cruze Compact, which made its debut around the world. And Chevrolet also pulls the top off their new Camaro, a convertible. And Ford, they continue to innovate with their all new 2016 F-150 pickup trucks. And in a reality check, Lexus announced they're actually developing a hoverboard. Can you believe it? All this in our test drives. It's coming right up. In a huge big reveal this week, the 2016 Chevrolet Cruze arrives larger and lighter than before, yet packed with a lot more technology. The new Cruze, which arrives later this year, looks a lot like the 2016 Chevrolet Volt, which was unveiled earlier this year, with many familiar styling cues like projector beam headlights and available LED daytime running lights. It's larger by a few inches, which brings more room inside, but some 250 pounds lighter than the outgoing model, and with a new 1.4 liter 153 horsepower turbocharged engine, promises better performance. That engine comes with either a six-speed manual or automatic transmission, and Chevrolet says it'll offer up to 530 miles on a tank of gas. The diesel engine option will return also for model year 2017. The interior is all new too, with more tech features than ever before. Standard will be a seven-inch touchscreen with a larger eight-inch optional, both featuring MyLink with smartphone integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto coming later in the model year. Notable class standard features, Chevrolet says, include 10 airbags, four-wheel disc brakes, and a rear-view camera. Available toys are things like 4G LTE with a Wi-Fi hotspot, wireless phone charging, and the latest driver assistance aids. The 2016 Chevrolet Cruze will be built at the Lordstown, Ohio plant and arrives at dealerships a little bit later this year with an expanded array of trim levels, including a new sporty RS. Now the 2016 Ford F-150 continues the style of the already new 2015 model, but for this year they add some new special additions. In addition to new available features like an automated towing assist, improved SYNC 3 infotainment systems and alternative fuel capabilities, Ford adds special edition packages for the XLT and Lariat. The new appearance package includes unique 20-inch anodized and dark painted aluminum wheels with red accent lettering. Going along with them are black running boards, smoked headlamps, and a healthy dose of body graphics. Most notable is a special grille design which on the Lariat has red accents that really pop. If this is a bit much for you, the XLT version has a simple black anodized look with a mesh inset. The overall theme and feel is similar to the FX packages, but swings more upscale both on the outside, but the inside too. The special edition interior gets unique seating with Alcantara inserts, red contrast stitching, and red bolsters. The steering wheel, shift boot, and dash all get red stitching as well. And here, the 2016 gets the new SYNC 3 communications and entertainment system that features enhanced voice recognition, a better capacitive touchscreen, and easier to understand menus. The new 2016 Ford F-150 will arrive at dealerships very soon. Pricing for them as well as the new option packages will be announced closer that time. Chevrolet lifted the lid off their all new 2016 Camaro, showing the convertible version for the very first time. The all new 2016 Chevrolet Camaro convertible brings with it a number of key distinctions from its crosstown rival, the Ford Mustang. For one, the power top will be fully automatic with release latches that don't require manual operation. It can be opened and closed at speeds up to 30 miles per hour and can be operated remotely from the key fob. When the top is down, and like the Mustang, it stows sleekly underneath a hard tonneau cover for a much more refined and upmarket appearance, though this arrangement does likely come at the cost of less trunk space. The cloth surface top itself, when up, mimics the Camaro's roofline and features a multi-layer construction with both acoustic and thermal barriers for comfortable and quiet driving all year round. The interior is much akin to that of the coupe in design, the rear seat getting a tad bit narrower and tighter to make room for the power top's mechanism. It doesn't appear, however, to give up that much space though. Chevrolet says the new Camaro convertible has a body structure stiffer and lighter than before by at least 200 pounds, and while we'll have to wait to judge when we drive one, should offer equivalent handling to the coupe. Now the 2016 Camaro convertible will arrive a little bit later after the coupe with pricing to be announced closer to that launch in calendar year 2016. In our test drives this week, 
I got a bit of a suntan out on the Mother Road Route 66 in the 2015 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. We tested the base model 1.8T, which is where the news is this year as it has an all-new turbocharged 4-cylinder base engine, replacing the old 2.5-liter 5-cylinder. The outcome is a more sportier feel in driving and much better fuel economy. Our drive on Route 66 allowed for some fun and touristing, which is really what this car is about. We did get some good drive testing in though, that really gave us a feel for how well buttoned down this pleasure cruiser is, and we weren't at all disappointed. Now you can get your kicks with us on Route 66 and watch the entire test drive review by clicking on the link down below in the information section or on our website, testdriven.tv. In our reality check segment this week, the futuristic hoverboard's been in magazines, comic books, and movies for decades, but the consumer always been left out of the loop. But finally, Toyota's luxury brand Lexus says they've partnered with what they call world-leading experts in superconductive technology to create one of the most advanced hoverboards ever developed. It's been the dream of kids and adults alike for decades, so why not? And in so doing, Lexus says of the project that determination combined with their passion and expertise for design and innovation is what led us to take on the hoverboard project. They went on to say, it's the perfect example of amazing things that can be achieved when you combine technology, design, and imagination. The Lexus hoverboard is said to use magnetic levitation to achieve true frictionless movement by way of liquid nitrogen cooled superconductors and permanent magnets. Of course, this hoverboard is a Lexus, so its design features the brand's luxury touches and aesthetics like a spindle grille signature shape and familiar materials like bamboo woods. Testing of the Lexus hoverboard will begin taking place in Barcelona, Spain in the coming weeks and we will hopefully know more soon. Now what has been said is that this hoverboard, like the many have come before it, is a prototype and will not be for sale. Once again, the man is teasing us with what we cannot have. Now it's time for our money shot, where we take the best photo from this week's press news and we show it to you. On display at Goodwood this week was a special McLaren P1 Prost honoring four-time Formula One world champion Alan Prost. The car's carbon fiber body was painted in his racing livery of white with blue graphics and red highlights. This view, though, is just gold. Well, that's it for Motoring Monday. Click on the link right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll keep you updated on all we do. We test drive at least one car every week and upload a video almost every single day. So there's always something new. You can also follow us on the Google, Twitter, and that Facebook by clicking on the links down below or up on our website if you happen to be there. That's testdriven.tv. I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride.